In this video, I'll show you how to select and load maps into the Osmond Maps and Navigation application. My emphasis is on loading maps for the purpose of hiking, although much of this also applies to other forms of travel. I'm using the Android version of Osmond, version 2.3.5. Osmond primarily uses downloadable maps that reside on the device. That's important for off-road use, where you may not always have a cellular connection. The phone's GPS circuitry doesn't need a cellular connection either because it typically relies on satellites. This means that even in remote places where you can't send a text or make a call, you can still probably use your phone to navigate. Before we download some maps, it's a good idea to install the Osmond Contour Lines plugin. I've got mine here at Google Play. You need the plugin, along with the appropriate maps, to display both contour lines and hillside shading. Once it's installed, you enable it by pressing on the menu button in the lower left, then Plugins. Now let's download some maps. Osmond's map library is found by pushing on the menu button in the lower left, and then the Manage Map Files selection. The library is well organized and worldwide. I'm in California, and I know this part of the world best, so I'll download from there. I press on North America, United States of America, and California. And here we see not one, but five different maps. The first two are a standard map and a roads only map. You select just one of these as your base map. The difference is a matter of detail and file size. As far as I can tell, the roads only maps do contain trails, but I've never used one in the field. So I'll go ahead and download the standard California map together with three overlay maps, contour lines, hill shading, and Wikipedia points of interest. Once the downloading is complete, the maps all show up here on the local screen. As you can see, I've previously downloaded a world overview map as well. So let's take a look at what we've downloaded. Here's the Western Hemisphere as shown in the world overview map, which I've zoomed out all the way. Here's California shown in green, which indicates I've downloaded a more detailed map, in this case, the standard California map. And now we see more detail as contained in the California standard map. Like all maps in the Osmond Library, this is a vector map, meaning that it's composed of points, lines, and polygons. Vector maps are very compact, considering how much information they contain, and they show more detail as you zoom in, less as you zoom out, so that at all levels the map remains informative without getting too cluttered. The other three maps all overlay this base map. Contour lines are in 10 meter intervals, that is, 10 meters of altitude between each line. The metric system is used worldwide, even for U.S. maps where the altitude would ordinarily be expressed in feet. The hill shade map follows the convention of simulating a line shining down from the northwest. You can display these overlays together or hide them both. The controls for doing this are found by pressing the Configure Map button in the upper left. Pressing the pedestrian icon ensures that these settings pertain just to hiking. That is, you might have other settings for other activities. The hillshade layer is enabled and disabled here. The contour line setting is slightly more complex. 
you are specifying how far back you can zoom before the lines disappear. Here's what the map looks like with the default 13 setting. Now you see the contour lines. Now you don't. The third overlay displays Wikipedia points of interest. Here's how they work. Many Wikipedia articles include the subject's geographical coordinates. When that's the case, the article is linked to a POI on the map. Press on the point to see the article title. Press on the title to get the article's introduction. Press on that to see the full article minus images. This information was contained in the map we downloaded, and it resides on the phone. No data connection is needed, although you can link to the full article if you do have a connection. The setting to display Wikipedia points of interest is in the Configure Map screen under the POI selection. You can also display each point of interest's label. We've now covered the four maps I've downloaded, the standard map, which is the main map, and three optional overlays, contour lines, hillshade, and Wikipedia points of interest. But how good are these maps? How complete are they, and how accurate? The answer is, it depends. I think this map of Yosemite Valley looks pretty good. But I'm less certain of this one, of the Funeral Mountains Wilderness Area, even though both of these maps are in California. That's because Osman maps are based largely on crowdsourced data from OpenStreetMap, the worldwide mapping project that launched in the UK in 2004. Anyone can contribute either by tracing aerial imagery from the comfort of your computer, or by going out in the field and collecting GPS survey data. This squiggly magenta line, for example, is from a hike I took in Hawaii. In other words, these maps are dependent on volunteer mappers, especially in places less traveled, trails and other features may be missing. For example, this unnamed lake is visible on satellite imagery, and on a U.S. topographical map, but is missing an open street map. And of course, mapping skills vary, which can affect accuracy. And people's sense of what constitutes a path also varies. My idea of a walk in the woods may be significantly different than yours. The good news is that people keep adding to open street map. Feature by feature, the map keeps improving.